Hi guys, for today's video, I created this dark teal eyes with brown maroonish lips. Since October has begun and it's officially fall season but it's really hot in Delhi here. But I wanted to create a fall look and not play with browns or oranges. So I created this look. I'm using the Benefit Professional Primer to cover up my open pores and set a smooth base for my makeup. I'm massaging it gently into the skin mainly around my nose, cheeks, my chin and my forehead and I'm patting it so it gets absorbed into my skin really nicely. For foundation I'm using NYX Total Control Drop Foundation in the shade 09 Medium Olive. I'm taking one drop for starting because it's medium to buildable coverage and I did not know how much to take so I'm just going with one drop and it gives quite a good coverage but the shade is very light for my skin tone. It's a matte foundation so make sure that you moisturize your face really well before you apply this otherwise it sticks to the dry patches and does not look good at all. Even if your skin is oily like mine. Don't forget to moisturize when using this foundation. I'm going in for a second drop because I want more coverage and I see absolutely no issues in blending in this foundation even after building it up. Just make sure that your skin is moisturized really well and it would blend seamlessly. Also, it is advisable to use a brush when using this foundation as a sponge would absorb majority of it and not provide the required coverage. Next, I'm using the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer, applying it into the inner corners of my eyes and my under eye area, on the sides of my nose, my chin and my forehead. Starting with my chin and forehead and blending in the concealer really well and then moving on to my eyes as it would give some time for the concealer to set in. Also make sure that you blend in really well leaving no harsh edges. All the products would be mentioned in the description box below. I'm using the Makeup Revolution Luxury Banana Powder to bake in and set all the areas where I applied concealer. I'm using my foundation brush to apply this over all the areas where I used my concealer. Using Makeup Revolution's iconic Lights and Contour palette and putting it into the hollows of my cheeks and making sure that I blend it really well and not to bring it towards my cheeks just leave it halfway just like this and blending it really well ensuring there are no harsh edges. Cleaning down my contour with the banana powder. Now using the Freedom Pro blush in the shade Banish and I totally love the shade. It's absolutely matte and just gives you the right amount of pink that gives you a look of naturally flushed cheeks and not very overpowering and would suit many skin tones. Now I'm taking a big fluffy brush and dusting off the banana powder also making sure that it's blended well. For my eyes today, I'm using the beautiful Dream Street palette from Colourpop Cosmetics. I'm using the shade Kaleidoscope and putting it on the inner half of my eyelids. And this shade is so pigmented, I absolutely love. Next, I'm taking the shade Mermaid Boy and putting it into the center of my eyelids. I'm not worrying about blending it right now. I'm just depositing the pigment and setting where up to the crease I want to take it. I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush to define and deposit the pigment here. Using the shade Water Bearer on the outer corners of my eyes and defining a V. I just love this matte dark teal shade. And I'm depositing the pigment right now and defining the V of my eye. Do not worry about the neatness or the blending right now, we'll take it up later. Taking the shade Magical on a small fluffy brush, I'm blending in the crease, ensuring there are no harsh edges. Also blending Kaleidoscope with Mermaid Boy in the lid and Mermaid Boy with Water Bearer so there are no harsh edges and the transition is really smooth. I'm intensifying the matte shade on the outer corners, defining the V again and putting the shade onto my lids. Again taking the transition shade magical and blending it in with water bearer making sure that there are no harsh edges and it blends in seamlessly. Take your time and blend well. 
taking the shade mermaid boy and intensifying it on my eyelids and kaleidoscope into the inner corners. Taking a clean brush, I'm blending in both the shades into the crease. Extending water bearer to my lower lash line. Again taking magical on a fluffy brush and blending in my lower lash line. I'm connecting the V on the outer corners of my eyes to the lower lash line and blending it really well. Blending all the transitions on my eyelid really well. Using the shade Sweet Dreams on my brow bone to highlight it and into the inner corners of my eyes. Applying some kajal to my waterline to add some contrast and depth to my eyes. Using an eyelash curler to curl my lashes so they stay curled and in place longer. Applying the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara to my lashes to give them some volume, length and coating them in a black shade. I would be applying some falsies later. Also applying the mascara to my lower lashes as I absolutely love the effect of it. I added Pak Ming Lashes in number M75. It's highlight time using the Nykaa Glow Getter Highlighter in 24K Glam using a big pan brush to apply the highlighters on the higher points of my face that is my cheekbones, just above my eyebrows highlighting my nose and my cupid's bow. For my lips, I'll be using the ultra matte lip from Colourpop in the shade Top 8. It is a gorgeous brown shade with hints of red and very fall appropriate. I just love how it's totally complimenting my eyes right now. And that is it. This is my finished look. Let me know what do you think about it. I really like how the eyes are looking and how my lips are complementing the eyes and the base is going good. Hit the thumbs up if you liked this look. Share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next week. Bye.